And your voice is your voice is your voice, as I say it. So there's, if you learn how to use your voice, you will not only be able to use it for singing, singing's a part of it, but for all those people listening at home who are like, but I'm not a singer, I don't wanna sing. If you did this work, you probably would want to sing. I'll say that, but otherwise nobody's forcing you to become a big singer, right? It's more about learning frequencies and learning how your voice operates. And when you learn the faculty of how the voice works, it's the same muscles and the same resonators for your singing voice as it is for your speaking voice. There literally is no difference. The fact that we separate them is what makes them function differently. But if you can speak, you can sing, right? Really? So really, so if you have an issue with pitch, you know, there are people who have major pitch problems. They say, I can't hear tone. That most often is because you're not grounded and you're out of your circadian rhythm. And once you find the earth again, you'll be able to really receive tone in a grounded way and be able to repeat tone and hear it properly. That is so cool. Yes, and anybody who wants the thing can, it's, it's amazing. But back to the chakras. So yeah. the chakras, the seven main chakras of your body are also resonators. They make sound. The same resonators that you open when you're learning how to sing, when you're doing scales with a singing teacher, right? You're learning how to use the right muscles to hold the right tone. And as the tone increases, it moves up the physical form. Your body goes from the root, your voice goes from the root to the crown of your body. I like to think of us as a wind instrument, right? We're a wind instrument. We use our breath and our muscle to create sound. We have a reed, so we're kind of a reed instrument because we have a reed that are two vocal folds that are sitting in our throat. And that's what the vibrational sound moves through. But we don't concern ourselves with the reed because we don't control the reed. The reed is already built into the instrument. So as far as I'm concerned, we leave the reed to do what it does, and we actually are just in charge of the wind. So if you look at a flute, right? A flute is a wind instrument. If you blow through the flute, the low notes are the easiest to access. Those would be the notes at the bottom of our body. The high notes require more wind, more breath and more support. Anyone who plays a wind instrument knows that to get to the bottom of the flute, you need more breath support. It's exactly the same to get to the top, the high notes, which are we think are up here, you're actually using the entire stream. So you need the body, the entire body to make the voice. Now we're gonna bring that to the chakra system. All right. So the chakras are developing from the time you're conceived, right? all the way up through 14 years of age, and then it continues to go around every seven years in a life cycle. Each of these chakras has a grouping of nerve ganglion sitting at the point. So we call them esoterically like chakras, energy centers. But scientifically or um, anatomically, if you look at each of these chakra points, there's nerves that are in a group that are sitting at each of these points along the spinal column. Those nerves go to feed all the organs associated with that chakra or that area of the body, right? And all of the emotions that get stored in those parts of the body, because each of these organs are also storing emotions. Emotions are a secondary thought process. So really you're looking at how your psychology works. And when we talk about emotion storing, we're talking about how your psychology is storing in your body. Interesting. So when we start to work with the voice and we open up and activate all these parts, all these energy centers, you're actually using your own vibrational sound, just like you would use a singing bowl or a tuning fork or any of these tools that we use now in sound healing. You use your own vibrational sound, your own breath, which is your spirit, and your body, which is the earth's intelligence, and you are stimulating those nerves which is then sending a signal to all the surrounding organs and all of the cells of that area of the body. And you're able at that moment to release whatever you need to release. I find like people have like tremendous cathartic releases when they start doing this type of work, like just kind of on the floor ball in their eyes at because finally yeah, there's huge. that release of emotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I've, I mean, I've tried other modalities where I've, I've had those, you know, a little bit of releases, but I just find, you know, it, like it makes sense, like everything gets trapped in those specific centers, right? And especially, you know, as we age, right, everything gets trapped and it's built up on the, the trauma of the, the years before and it just keeps layering up on these layers and layers. And that's why, they, you know, if you're 
when you're doing this work, there's always seems to be like these layers that you have to peel out of like an onion. You just kind of peel away and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do you find by activating, just maybe starting with the root and allowing the un, un, I guess, deprogramming of the root through your voice to allow that enough shift that it's going to transform the second and then the third and then the fourth and it just kind of builds up? Or do you have to kind of do it very more specifically? You start with the first, work on whatever is starting there. And then the first will start to influence the second and then go on from there. So how does that kind of work for you? Yeah, so depending on when I'm working with students privately, I do more diagnostics and, and kind of we start at the root always. There's a reason why we do that. But then as we see where blockages are, we can see where maybe we should approach from different chakras to get access to all the energy flow. But in general, if you work from the root up, your body will tell you when you hit something, right? Um, it's really important to start at the root for me as a teacher because the root is the earth herself and that's your embodiment. And we are so detached from our root. Oh yeah. We are, we are head, 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 head all the way. And we need to be heart, 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 heart. And the heart is actually the culmination of the head and the root. It's both, it's all of this information coming up towards the center of our gravity, which is actually our heart chakra. We're heart centered beings. In our current stage of development, our highest function is when we're, we're centered at our heart. I think that you know, uh, generations and generations from now, we might move towards being up here somewhere, but we can't get there until we actually can master this first and to get there in a way that won't destroy, won't be destructive, I'd like to say. Yeah. So the root chakra is the earth herself. It's the Kundalini life force energy. It's the how we create the physical reality, seemingly physical. We understand that the world is just energy. And we, through our senses, experience it as something solid. But the earth energy, the body intelligence, which is our senses, right? She gives us the ability to create the physical world. She is the physical world. Our spirit comes in to have that incredible communion and to be able to create a physical reality, a seemingly physical reality. So each human being has the power of creation. We've heard this and many different great teachers have told us this, right? We are the dreamers of this dream. So having your voice empowered means having your expression, which is your contribution and how you actually contribute your soul to the world, put out into the world so that the world can reflect you within it. <laughs> right? And when we are not connected to the root, we're actually missing the connection to our, the, 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 the access point of bringing in all of the Shakti power of the planet to be a creative being. Mm 